Number 15. Sulfuric acid is manufactured by a series of reactions represented by the following equations. So here's the three equations here. Then it says, draw a Lewis structure, predict the molecular geometry by Vesper, and determine the hybridization of sulfur for the following. So in this case, we're going to be doing all of that for circular S8 molecule. Okay, so do we really need these reactions? No. The thing is, they gave us a, a molecule here, S8. We need to draw its Lewis structure, predict the geometry, determine the hybridization. Okay, you got it. So I was going to say that if we have to do the hybridization or do anything with geometry, you always got to draw the Lewis structure. So even if it didn't say draw the Lewis structure, we were going to have to draw it anyway. Now, they did give us a little hint here is that this molecule, this S8, is in a circular fashion. So it seems like it's going to be in a ring, right? S8, if you think of kind of like beads on a necklace, I have eight sulfur beads in a circular, a ring necklace. So eight generally is talking about an octagon. It's got eight sides. So I'm going to arrange it in that type of fashion. So I have an S... I have one, two, oh boy, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's good enough for me. As you can see, it's kind of like the octagonal shape. Now, remember, Lewis structures comes from valence electrons. Sulfur is in group uh, 16 or 6A. So that means it's got six valence electrons. So I'm just going to draw six valence electrons around each sulfur. So, yeah. How's your day going? <laughs> Hope everything's going well in your neck of the woods. Everything's good over here. Just drawing, having a blast. Love teaching you guys. We're almost there. One, two... I hope I'm drawing six. <laughs> I think we're good. Okay. Now, remember, you always make a single bond first. Since this is in a, a ring, I'm going to... Maybe I'll just move this one over here. Okay. I'm going to bind, bond to bond, or, you know, uh, pair, not pair, uh, lone electron to low, a uh, lone electron, dot to dot. So dot to dot for all of these, that's how we get the single bonds. And we can just... Watch how great I am at connecting the dots. It's a lovely, there we go. Actually, not bad. What What is going on here, Christina? Come on. Come on now. That's good enough. Dot to dot. Actually, not bad. Got to be proud of your work, right? All right, so here's the Lewis structure. They all have the octet already. If you counted them, they all have eight electrons, so we are good to go. Let's predict the molecular geometry. It does not matter which one we, we look at because all the sulfurs are exactly the same. They all got two bonds and two lone pairs. So maybe I will just look at this one, right? So it seems like that sulfur has two bonds, right? If I just draw that out, I have two bonds. So one, two, and two lone pairs. So I go over here, technically this is probably, your, your teacher or professor might expect you to memorize all these geometries, but I'm just, I just put it here just so that I can mark it down, that the two bond, two lone pair is this guy, right? Where you have that atom, you have the two bonds and the two lone pairs. So this is called bent or angular. Bent is usually more prevalent, so we'll call it bent. And now we just have to go through the hybridization. Well, there's a total of five hybridizations, and they all correspond to how many letters there are, right? SP2 means that I have one S and two Ps because of P squared. That's a total of three letters. If I look down at SP3D, I have one S, three Ps, and one D. So that's a total of five letters. The number of letters represents the number of things that's going on around that atom. And one thing is either one single bond, one double bond, a triple bond, or one lone pair of electrons, so two electrons. In this sulfur, 
I had one thing. I had a single bond. I had two things. I have a single bond. So that's two things. And I have two loan pairs. That's two things. So one, two, three, four things going around the sulfur. So four things. That means four letters. So the hybridization is SP3. And that's the end for this one. There you go. So bent, we have bent, we have the Lewis structure, which is this whole thing, and we have the hybridization, and we are done. What do you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, and I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. If you wouldn't mind, uh, tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool YouTube channel. Thank you so much, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.